Okay, I think we're only about an hour off from our previous launch, so let's take a look at what kind of relative inclination we've got. I think we can go straight without time warping to anything. Okay, it says target. 7.8, I think we can still do that. Yes, the margins are tight, but I think we can still do that. So let's just head out for it, and I'll fix that along the way. Okay, good. I'm just impatient um, right now. I, I don't have the best hopes for this particular one. I want to see how close I am so I know how much I, more I need to put on. Basically that's the idea. I want to see how close I am and if uh, whether I need 50 more or 100 more delta V or how much electric charge more I need. That sort of thing. So anyway, here we go. Ignition. And up we go. So I'll see you once we get close to orbit, unless there's some event in between. Okay, I think I'm gonna risk going to 40 degrees during the region of heating, just to see if that's okay, because it'll be more efficient to do so. I'm also starting to try and fix inclination here. We're relatively close to our ascending node. So, maybe I'll be able to take care of most of that. Okay, here we go, a final adjustment before we have booster separation. Two seconds. One second. on the zeroth second and out and set okay set is good we get to zoom in closer to our rocket because it's not quite so loud and the launch continues and I'll keep adjusting my relative inclination by going a little bit further south I think I can do fairing separation now. Okay. I've just been thinking as I've been sitting here waiting for this burn that really the American space program has a bad habit of throwing away its spacecraft, doesn't it? Uh, Gemini, Apollo, the space shuttle, when you think, uh, and I've just been thinking that maybe we could have refurbished uh, Apollo, given it extra seats, uh, as it were, uh, make it suitable to carry more people because some of the hardware could be removed, and in that case use it as a rescue or a crew transfer vessel for a space station or the space shuttle. So if the space shuttle was stranded in orbit, you could bring the crew back on an Apollo on a Saturn 1 rocket, for instance, an upgraded Saturn 1 rocket. Uh, we could have done that. I think we could have uh, put... I don't know how you could fit seven people in, but you could fit a bunch of people in. I don't know if it would have worked, but uh, certainly that's what the Russians do. Soyuz has been the spacecraft, not the launcher. Of course, the launcher as well, but the spacecraft has been upgraded through the decades. And now they have a launcher that can reach the space station which is a nice thing to have. Anyway, just a thought. Maybe next time, with this time with Orion, maybe we should just keep it this time? Maybe we should just upgrade it? I mean, until we have a substantially better spacecraft, but in that case, let's keep it anyway. Even if we create a new space shuttle, let's just keep the Orion spacecraft just in case as a ferry vessel uh, on the off chance, or, you know, uh, even if uh, we have, co you know, commercial crew doing everything, uh, just keep it around. Keep the commercial crew capsules around too, to the main, as much as possible. Okay, set and ignite. The ignition is good. That's not a given, by the way. The ignition could be bad uh, if, for some reason, the fuel is unsettled. So, in ignition is good is a very good thing. And we continue. 
So on the previous attempt to transfer to the moon, I really plotted a very long transfer. I overshot the moon and then came back around to hit it. And so that was a bit of a problem. That caused a long estimate for our transfer. I might still have to do that depending on where we end up uh, with our inclination, but... And actually we should tilt a little bit more off to that side. But... Yeah. I'll try to avoid it this time when, when plotting for the moon. Not that it would have helped in that case, but... I don't think we would have gotten below three days. So, rule number one for working with these new guidance units and, and avionics packages, uh, don't try to turn them off. <laughs> don't try to turn them off at all. No, that seems to be a recipe for disaster. So I think the launch itself uh, has been pretty good this time, better than last time. As you can see, I'm not angled quite as high, I don't think, and I'll, I'll have enough time instead of going down quite as far. But because of the inclination, because I rushed it instead of timing it properly, uh, that costed us a little bit more delta V. So correcting, we've corrected about uh, four degrees so far, so that's quite a lot. Okay, we are preparing for orbit here, and looks like we'll be right around 200 kilometers. Oh, right around. Okay, 206 by 195. Alright, so once again, plotting for the moon. Five days worth of electric charge, even without solar panels taking in power. So let's try and get there in less than five days. Okay, so I've got a plot that includes a mid-course plane change. So uh, 3,136 meters per second plus 116 meters per second in order to get to 464 kilometers in three days and 21 hours. We currently have no connection, but hopefully we'll have connection at the transfer point. Let's time warp to where we start to get connection Okay, well now we've got connection. Let's start turning then. Oh, looks like that core is the one it's drawing from. Gotta refill it up if possible. Nope, not possible. Oh well. Anyway, we're stable, so I'm gonna proceed to the maneuver point and hope that we retain connection. Okay, fuel flow is very stable. We can go a little bit further, but with fuel flow very stable, we might as well start now just in case. Well, it's a little bit, it might cost a little bit more if I try and start now. Curable joint reinforcement. All right, here we go. All right, I'll see you at staging. Okay, we are coming up upon the end of the RL-10 portion of the Relina stage. We are over Western Australia at this point. Okay, stage is done and set and ignition. Oh yes, the tanks. <laughs> I always forget to unlock the tank. Okay, here we go. Oh, that pause worried me for a sec, but it looks like everything is working out. We seem to be quite stable so far without RCS, but probably that's gonna change. This is a very slow acceleration stage though. Maybe it'll be alright. Anyway, this is going to take a little bit of time, so I'll be back with you once this part is done. Alright, almost at the end of this point. I've let it drift from the maneuver node. I'll adjust the mid-course adjustment 
accordingly. And the reason I've allowed it to drift is because I don't want to turn on the RCS right now. I want to be very careful about using RCS, very sparing about it because it could be quite expensive to do stuff with it. So I'm just going to take a look and make sure our orbit touches the orbit of the moon. And then we'll take care of the rest once we do the mid-course plane change. Oh, oh, uh, that might be too much. Let's just stop it there. Okay, 10,000 kilometers. And let's readjust this, this maneuver here to bring it in closer. Let, let's just see if uh, just a straight out burn would bring us closer. I don't think so. No, no. Gotta adjust inclination if you really want to get closer than that. No, not the seven day one. Well, there, 231 kilometers. It might pretend that that doesn't exist, but uh, I know it does. Anyway, 77.5 meters per second for that. Okay, so on we go to mid course plane change. I guess we can do the, the RCS part now. So I just want to do a quick burst of RCS and then another burst to stabilize. So uh, I've turned off the lights. That's why we don't have quite as much drain, I think. Though it seems to me uh, we have less drain than we had before. Should be that these top cores also, I don't know, they don't seem to be, oh, not now we've got the full drain. It was 0.25 before now it's 0.35 which is what I was expecting this is so weird okay I believe this is close enough to where we can do it so go ignition good thing these one newton thrusters have infinite relights okay well that'll do for an approach let's stabilize Oh, I don't see any thrusters. Oh, no, there's some thrusters firing. But I think we're stable. Okay, let's continue. We're going to have to hope that the satellites around the moon will help us out here. We're actually doing a pretty good job of maintaining communications on our own. But, well, we'll have to see about that. I think Hogfather is probably helping us out with that too. It's still active. Probably shouldn't be at this point. I don't know. How many days did it have? I forget. Okay, here we go. I think on this approach... Well, let's get a little bit closer, but on this approach, I think we'll still be on in communication as we approach a, uh, periapsis. So that is a good thing. And again, our drain is now 0.25 for some reason. Okay. So SAS off because... Oh, time warp. SAS. Ooh, come on. Can we join reinforcements? All right, SAS worried me because I'm worried about not having control but uh, oh I've got time delay as well okay well let's gotta make this maneuver a little bit trickier no actually the RCS responded pretty much immediately I hate when these things are inconsistent okay Let's let SAS finish its stabilization. I think that's good enough. Let me take RCS off and ignition. Ignition happened exactly when I did it. Not have that. 68 kilometers. Fair enough. Okay, so next. We seem to have an inclined pass on the moon. That is perfectly all right. Okay, well, that that's good. 811, 
And another positive, it looks like the the moon is bright on the earth facing side. That's ideal, of course. So we're we're hitting it at a good time. Gotta love getting up close and personal with the moon. Okay, we might not have communication for very long. No, we're we're not too bad off actually. We'll we'll definitely have communication through the burn point. Guess there's no problem unlocking this tank now. Wanna well, see my real total delta V down there. Normally I'd want 2,600 for landing. I think that's what they had with Apollo. So I'm under that right now. So basically what I need is a suicide burn countdown, don't I? Well, there we go. Okay, SAS, don't overdo it. I just wanted to point at the maneuver node. Give SAS just a little bit of RCS, I tell you, it takes a mile. I guess I'll have to leave RCS on. It just keeps drifting. So. Yeah, I can't bear to watch it fire all the RCS away like that. Let me just take SAS off then. So we'll have about 2,350 meters per second left for the landing. It can be done, but uh, don't expect an extra minute to find a good landing spot. Okay, I think I'll just have SAS do it now. Oh. Okay, shut down. Wow, 69 by 67. That's as accurate as I ever get. Okay, RCS off. Should be nice and stable. Okay, so we're headed around the dark side. We really can't do the descent burn the way they would have. Uh, well, with Apollo anyway. Uh, or actually, even with the probe missions, they could program it so that it would start the descent on the opposite side. But I'm not doing that. I could, I guess, but I'm not doing that. I'm just going to start the descent once we... A regain connection and we'll just go from there okay we should get it yes all right where are you probe let's get your lights on if there was ever a time oh, doesn't do much not now that the rest of the stages have gone Okay, uh, quick pull up. Right. Now descent. It's not actually throttleable. All right. Well, we have an impact point. SAS back on. We'll probably use SAS on the way down. Okay, I can't see anything. Let's just proceed. We, it looks like we'll have a direct connection back to home, but we also have a satellite here, the two flower, that is ready to assist us. Oh, oh, they're both ready to assist us. Chandra 2 is also here. Very good. Okay, SAS off. I don't even know why I put SAS on, actually. Let us have RCS on and a little brief nudge so that we can head retrograde. How long is our final stage? 5 minutes and 22 seconds. Okay. 
Okay, well, I've got communication. I, it looks good. I'm going to start out now. Uh, let's see. It's been a long time since I tried to land on the moon. Oh heck, SAS me. Okay, time to impact is really worrying me, so I'm gonna tilt up a little bit. This is why you need more than 1600 meters per second, of course. That and the RCS. Okay, uh, I think all our tanks are open, so... We're about to end this stage here. Okay, uh, yeah, all right, <gasps> electric charge not good. Oh, we needed to transfer electric charge, but we can't even do that, can we? Well, we have time, actually, but we're not going to be able to do much here. All right, let's see. We need to transmit some scientific data back home somehow. I don't think that takes much electric charge. Uh, we'll have to see. We're going up. Uh, not good. Okay, going okay. Going okay. Two hours with of electric charge left. I don't know about this. We seem to be using too much RCS. Okay. Since I burn countdown, we'll wait for it. Hope it's right. Oh, our true altitude is a lot higher, a lot less than I thought it was. Okay. Um, 20 seconds, let's say. Okay. Okay. Uh, the game's frozen. Why? Okay, so the game crashed, but the rinse wind is on a suborbital trajectory here. Come on, where are we? Where are we? We seem to be high. Okay. Um, no, we're we're in a bad situation here. This is not right. Uh, what uh, what happened? No, 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 no. This is the wrong craft. <laughs> okay. Tough when they're both having controllers. Uh. Suicide burn countdown, okay. Uh, all right, all right. Five, four, go. <laughs> um, all right, all right, let's do it this way. All right, well, uh, yeah, the game decided to quit on me right when I was about to try this. Should have been stabilized or something. Uh, too much, too much. Uh, too early. Oh, man. Okay. Ah, uh, crud. Uh, log X-ray data? Uh, transmit? Okay. At least we got 13 data. Yeah. Alright. Well, oh? Oh, we, we, ha ha ha. I totally forgot. We had a science day from Space Around the Moon contract. We definitely didn't land on the moon or transmit or recover scientific data from from the surface of the moon. Uh, we were just about maybe 50 to 100 delta V short of that. 
um, with my flying skills, of course. With uh, with a superior pilot, I'm sure we would have gotten down safely. But uh, well, we fulfilled the contract. Uh, go figure. I I did that that uh, X-ray detector test without even realizing that it would fill a contract. All I wanted to do was get some science out of it at the last second if possible. But yeah, okay, well we fulfilled the contract. Uh, we know how close we were, I think, and uh, I'll be able to try better next time. But I think uh, in the next episode I'll try that Molnia orbit instead of uh, doing this again, and then we'll we'll do this uh, try this again after that. All right? So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.